Wow, this is, uh, well, I, uh, I, I guess it's Monday movie pickup. This is a really good, uh, movie. I saw this a while back. It's about the 1994, uh, genocide crisis that went on in Rwanda. This is about the guy who tried to save a bunch of people during that time. Joaquin Phoenix and, of course, Don Cheadle. Uh, it's really weird that Joaquin Phoenix is in this and he's hardly in the movie, it feels like. But, yeah, this is, uh, if you've never heard of it or don't know much about it, I would give this a try because this is a really good uh, interpretation of what happened. So what we have here is the Karate Kid collection. This has all four films. This is an Italian import. The reason I got it was because, well, you could buy all the films separately. And uh, these ones actually have the special features still, and the other two don't. So what happened is, these two movies, they released on Blu-ray a couple years back as a two-pack collection. And then the third one did show up on some American trilogy collections, I believe. I don't know if it was an import, but I'm pretty sure there was an American trilogy pack on Blu-ray. Karate Kid 4 is never included. And uh, what happened then is... There was never an American release of both of these movies separately. And uh, they finally did it, but you could pay like 20 bucks for each of the films. So Karate Kid 3 and 4 both cost 20 bucks each, which is insane. The two pack collection cost about 10 bucks, so I can't. Basically, you would be putting in like $50 to get all these movies. I instead found this Italian import, which had these two movies with the special features, so these are the same discs as the one that come from the two-pack collection. And I don't know if these are the same discs as the American release that there is now, but I will say that the American release of these two on Blu-ray doesn't have special features, and neither do these ones, so I'm guessing these are the same. And even when I put in the movie, it says Karate Kid 4, which it's actually the next Karate Kid. And maybe it's Karate Kid 4 in Italy, but I put the movie into my Blu-ray player just to check the title, and it says the next Karate Kid, so... And yeah, there's no problem, it's not like everything's in Italian, everything's still in English. I found this for less than $30. This is the one to get. Day the Earth Stood Still. Now this is the uh, Keanu Reeves remake from 2008, which I've never seen before. However, the reason I got it was because on disc 3, there is... The 1951 version, which I have seen. It is a really great movie, by the way. So if you look in here, yeah, they got the digital copy, which I'm pretty sure doesn't work anymore from how many years ago this was released. But here's the uh, remake, which I'll probably give a chance eventually. But here's the 1951 release. Now, you could get the 1951 film for, uh, around 15 bucks on Amazon, which I didn't feel like doing right away at the moment. I found this collection here though, where it comes as a bonus disc, and this only costs five bucks. So you get two movies out of it. The only problem was, and I was wondering about this, so there's no special features listed there. And when the film was released on Blu-ray, the same time this movie was uh, being you know, released in theaters, the original disc had special features, so I popped this in just to see if it was the same disc, and it's it's not. They they actually took the special features off, which is kind of stupid, but yeah. I don't know if I'll double dip eventually to get the one with the special features, because I still have the DVD, which probably has the same special features, and I don't know if I care too much about the movie that. I don't know if I care that much. <laughs> but yeah, that was Monday Movie Pickup. There wasn't many this week, but... I bet there'll still be some next week. Thanks for watching the video. A special thanks to Ryan for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to join him and get early access to certain videos and have your name stamped on the end of videos and even request reviews monthly, then please click on the Patreon link and thanks for the support.